Hello ladies, gentlemen and mammals. It's been nearly a year ever since I made this video where I ranked all the resonating heroes in State of Survival. Since this video, we've had many new resonating heroes including Dylan, Chris, Ada, Leon, Angelica and Selena arriving to State of Survival. I've received many requests recently from all of you asking me whether I would make an updated version of this video to help you focus on specific resonating heroes in your build. In this video, I will rank every infantry resonating heroes from Wako, Kira, Oli, Chris and Angelica. These type of videos do take a lot of time and resources to make so do me a favor and smash the subscribe and slap the like button. If we get 300 likes in this video, then I can make similar updates for the Hunter and Rider resonating heroes in my next videos. So let's jump straight into it and start with Wako and Kira. In the newer states, if you are a rally leader or a rally joiner, it is clear at the start that Wako will be your main infantry hero that you should focus on. This is especially true if you are from states that are from generation 0 to generation 6. However, when Kira is introduced to states from generation 6 onwards, then she will outperform Wako by a huge mile. Therefore, I would suggest for low to mid spenders to avoid spending money on Wako as he becomes pretty much useless the moment Kira arrives in your state. Wako is also smashed by all other infantry resonating heroes afterwards. It's been nearly 18 months since I've used Wako myself. This I'm going to rank Wako dead last on my ranking, rank 5, with Kira being ranked second last on my list at rank 4. I would suggest going f 2 ping to get Wako and spending money on Kira if you can afford it. So if you are spending money to supersize your resonating heroes, then why not get your state of survival bundles at better prices in state of survival? Have you heard of Paxify? It's this amazing cool service that lets you buy your bundles at the US dollar prices no matter where you live. So you can skip any digital taxes and save your money. On top of that, depending on which country you're from, you can save up to 35% with Paxify. With Paxify special spicy Friday offers, if you put in $2,000 in your Paxify wallet, you'll get even more savings and bonuses. So what are you waiting for? Check out Paxify using the link in the description below and start saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. When Oli arrives to the scene, he will easily dominate both Wako and Kira as they become artifacts and surely obsolete. This is primarily driven by Oli's skills where there is a 25% chance to disarm all enemies for one turn with the added skills and on turn 10 to turn 15, friendly troops can penetrate to the back row when attacking disarmed units. Due to this, for the new states, Oli will be the undisputed rank 1 infantry resonating hero. However, the arrival of Chris has created a bit of a conundrum. Following the Resident Evil collaboration for the new states in State of Survival, you've been able to get your hands on Chris. However, Chris will not have his Limitless skills unlocked. When Chris' Limitless skills is not unlocked, Oli actually will outperform him in both longevity of the use but also in PvP battle results. As a result of this, for the new states where Limitless heroes have not descended, I would rank Oli as rank 1 and Chris as at rank 3. This dynamic ranking shifts though upon the arrival of the Limitless heroes. When you are able to unlock Chris' Limitless skills when the test is repeated, Chris outperforms Oli in this Limitless heroes era in both PvP and PvE battle results. It is simply down to the fact that Chris not only copies the skills of Limitless heroes but he also adds an additional skill. This effectively means in a simplistic term that Chris will deal 4 skills worth of damage versus Oli's 3 skills worth of damage. Therefore, as a result of this, for all to mid states that have limitless heroes, I would rank Chris as rank 1 and Oli at rank 3. So they've effectively swapped positions. Finally, this will leave us with Angelica. You've probably realized that whether you are in the old states or the new states, I've ranked Angelica as rank 2. You're probably wondering, so let me explain. Angelica will beat all other resonating heroes due to her skills where there are 5 skills when unlocked. So so this is very clear. That's why she's got a cute rank, special, operative, and
Angelica. Yet all of you know that Angelica will cost you a lot of money, $10,000 or more to be precise to be able to unlock her and max all her skills. Yes, I do have Angelica, but I only have her at level 4 and I left her skills at level 1. This has already cost me nearly $4,500. Due to the cost to get Angelica and her unique place in State of Survival, 99% of players in State of Survival will never get her, but she is undoubted the best infantry resonating hero in State of Survival, but is extremely expensive and the devs has the power to make her useless at any time. Therefore, on the balance of all of this, I have ranked her as rank 2 out of all the other infantry resonating heroes. As a result of my test, my conclusion will be in twofold. For those mid to low spenders out there, if you are new to State of Survival, then Wacko is rank 5, following by Kera at rank 4, Chris at rank 3, Angelica at rank 2, and Ollie easily takes rank 1. This is primarily the ranking before Limitless Heroes arrives to your state. If you are due to have Limitless Heroes or already have Limitless Heroes, then Wacko is rank 5, Kira is rank 4, Oli is rank 3, Angelica is rank 2, with Chris taking the top spot of rank 1. As you can imagine, this sort of videos are pretty challenging to make, so do me a favor and smash the subscribe button and slap the likey likey thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll smell you soon in another video. Goodbye!